from Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our show. Now, before I start, before I say anything at all, I must read you a letter that I got from a lady in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have to read this. I, I just got it, just when I got into the studio. It says, Dear Jack, I call you by your first name because I feel that I know you so well. I've been watching you ever since you've been on television, and I can't get over how good you look on TV. <laughs> year after year, you never seem to change. You always look the same. How do you do it? Now, I don't want to brag. I mean, this isn't the only letter I've gotten asking this question. I get thousands of them, you see? And of course, this is very flattering, but I must confess that in order to keep looking good, and this isn't cheating. I mean, you know, this, is just, this is just good showmanship, you see. In order to keep looking good, every year I make the camera move back. Every year, they move back a little further. In fact, right now, I'm here, and the camera is in Pomona. <laughs> To give you an idea what a difference this makes, I'll show you what I look like when the camera is real close to me. I'll show you. There's one. Oh, Fred, give me that close-up camera, will you please? The close-up. <laughs> That's enough. Go back to the long shot. <laughs> What can be done with camera technique? And if you think it was, that was something, you should see me in the morning. <laughs> without makeup. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, to get on with the show, I know you're always anxious to welcome my singing star. So right now, I'd like to bring him out, Dennis Day. Thank you, thank you. Tonight, I would like to sing a song that I hope that you'll enjoy. It's a wonderful song that is really funny. Wait a minute, hold it. Hold it just a minute, Dennis. What's the matter? What's that? It's a palm tree. <laughs> I know it's a palm tree. I mean, why did you bring it out here? It's for my song. You're so cheap, you never get me any scenery. <laughs> well, Dennis, what's wrong with being in front of a curtain? Nothing, if you're a window. <laughs> Well, you hadn't better, because everybody knows that it's much easier for a singer to sell the lyrics of a song if he can work with something that can help him convey the mood and the meaning of the words. Well, Dennis, I, I certainly can't argue with you there. If you think that uh, uh, th this tree, well, this palm tree, will help you with your song, why, go ahead and use it. Okay. <laughs> What'd you stop me for? I had to stop you. You made such a big thing about needing scenery to sing a song. Just answer me one question. Yes, sir. What has a palm tree got to do with two people drinking cocktails? Well, they drink a lot of cocktails. All right, they drink a lot of cocktails. What has a palm tree got to do with it? 
It's potted. <laughs> Stupid. Dennis, will you do me a favor? Sing, sing the song you're supposed to sing, not this one. Sing it with the tree, without the tree, in the tree, on top of the tree. Just sing it. Close up, please. <laughs> Imagine him coming out with a palm tree. You know, that kid drives me nuts. But it's my own fault. I mean, he didn't come to me. I hired him. And you know, it's a story in itself, how I found Dennis. Now, it was back in the days when I was on radio, you know, and I had a, a, a program for several years, and I was doing very well with it. And at that particular time, I was looking for a singer. So I talked to my agent about it, and one day I dropped into his office to see if he had found me one. I got you, I got you. Now, Harry, don't worry about a thing. Will you please? We'll work it out some way. Yeah, come in. Come in, come in, sit down. Uh, listen, Harry, I'll call you back, huh, baby? Uh, Jack Benny just came in. Uh, Jack Benny. <laughs> well, someday you will. <laughs> Jackie boy, I'm glad you dropped in. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? I asked you a long time ago to try to find a fellow for my program, a singer. Yes, yes, of course you did. Now, Jackie boy, you're my, you're my most precious client. And you know that I wouldn't do anything without giving your problem a lot of thought. I got great news for you. You have? If you're still looking for a singer, I got a kid that may be just what you're looking for. Who? Now, he's singing with a band now. I don't think he's making too much money. Let's see here, his name is, uh... Ah, here it is, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> no, no, I saw him. He's a... He's a skinny kid with no personality. <laughs> I mean, he's almost as bad as that other guy you tried to palm off on me, that, uh... Oh, that Bing... Bing Crosby with that... <laughs> <laughs> Who needs that? 
so far, you've come up with nobody. Nobody? What about the kid I sent up to see you last week, that, that Perry Como? Didn't you like his voice? Well, he's got a nice voice, but he, he's too aggressive. He jumps around. <laughs> Too fast. He sings too fast. I don't, I, don't, I don't want that kind. Look, they're all baritones. I want someone with a higher voice, you know. How about Jessica Dragonette? <laughs> well, he's all right, but... <laughs> and not, he's not, you know, what I... Look, I want a fella, a young fella, a singer with a lot of talent and personality and a great comedy potential. And you want to pay him 35 bucks a week. That's right. I want a nice, cheap Morton Downey. Well, Jackie boy, I'm telling you right now, with that kind of money, you're not going to find anybody. They just... Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. An agent friend of mine dropped in here about a month ago. He handles unknown. He brought a record in here with him of a kid who, who may be just what you're looking for. Where is it? Ah, here it is. <laughs> yeah, the kid's name is Dennis Day. Let's hear it. Let's hear the rest. Small one. Dennis Day. Go ahead, kid. Sing. Dennis. Yes, please? I already put in the quarter. Start singing. Now? <laughs> Sure, can't you see the record going around? Yeah, it makes me dizzy. <laughs> well, face the other way and sing. Okay. That's it. They must have run out of quarters. But look at it. Now, that's what I was looking for, a beautiful high voice like that. That's what I want. Where can I get him? Wait a minute. I think I saw his phone number right here on the record. Where is it? Ah, there it is. H-O-2469. Okay. I'll call him. I'll call him right Good. now. Go ahead. See if I can get him. What is that? H-O-2469. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. H O two four two. Four, six, nine. Six, nine. Now that's what I want. That's the kind of a voice. Hello, Luigi's a fish market. <laughs> Luigi's fish market? Yeah. Is this HO 2469? Well, sure. Have you got somebody working there about Dennis Day? You mean that the kid where he go around all the time and sing an Irish song? Yeah, that's him. Let me talk to him. Uh, he no work here no more. I fired him. You fired him? Why? I come in one morning and I find him stiff as a board. You mean he was drunk? Uh, no, no, no. He locked himself in the freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Some scoop. <laughs> well, where can I get in touch with him? I don't know. He's looking for some ice cream company. Hey, wait a minute. I got over here a piece of paper the name. Eh, uh, give me see. Oh, uh, the name. BCP Ice Cream of Parlor. You wanted the number? Yes. M. Hey. And please, don't bother me no more. That's M-A-6079. M-A I'll call. M-A-6079. I guess. Busy B Ice Cream Parlor. Uh, I'd like to speak to Dennis Day, please. No, he's not here anymore. We fired him. You fired him? We had to. Ever since he came, our ice cream smells from fish. <laughs> Our Neapolitan became macro herring and halibut. <laughs> oh. He was a nice kid, kept singing all the time, had a real beautiful voice. Well, that's it. Well, I, I heard him say, I, with that voice, he should be in show business. Yeah, let's see. I think I heard that he's at the uh, Lotus Blossom Inn now. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's a, he is in show business. He's at the Lotus Blossom Inn. Lotus Blossom. Jack, I've seen the floor shows there. They're not too good. Now, if I were you, I'd go down and talk to the kid, and maybe he'll leave them and go with you. It's a great idea. Steve, I'll do that. I'll go right down there now. Glad to see I you, want, Jack. I want to hear him. I want right. to hear him sing. Drop in any time. OK, kid. <laughs> so long, Steve. So long, Jack. Good evening, 
sir. One for dinner? No, no, I'm going to eat later. <clears throat> I wonder about, have you a fellow here, Dennis Day, working here? Dennis Day? No. Oh, you mean, I take you home again, Kathleen, <laughs> across the ocean wide and wide. Yeah, that's, that, that's the fellow. I, I came over here tonight because I, I want to watch him work. You want to watch him work? Yes. Take a good look. <laughs> he works? He works in the kitchen? <laughs> I can't get over it. I thought he was singing on the floor show. No, not sing. He pussy food. He slingy head. He not singer, he slinger. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> to Johnny and the golf. Do you mind if I go over and talk to him? Sure, sure. Talk to you all you want. Oh. Uh. Pardon me, I'm here to, um... I thought you were a waiter. Well, look, I, I'm not a waiter. Look, I'm, I'm Jack Benny. Jack who? Benny, Benny. Does my name mean something to you? Oh, yeah. You ordered the chow mein to go. <laughs> I didn't order anything. Oh. Now look, look, kid. You're Dennis Day, aren't you? Now look, kid. You're, you're meeting me. It could, could be a turning point in your life. I mean, I, I can give you an opportunity. Hey, boy, answer phone. Well, excuse me. Yeah. Hello, notice blossom in. Best chop suey, never gooey. <laughs> Would you like order, please? Oh, number four dinner for five people. Very good. Ah, uh, number four dinner, you get some gum chow mein, pork fried rice, fried shrimp, and fortune cookie. <laughs> you don't want number four dinner, you want number five dinner for four people. Oh, for four people on uh, number five dinner, you take away almond duck. <laughs> mm, no, 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 no. So sorry. Can I do, can I leave almond duck on dinner for four? Must be dinner for five. Or you like it dinner for five, but you only know four people. <laughs> uh, when you find friend, call it back. Bye. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but your chow mein will be ready to go in a minute. Look, I didn't order chow mein. Now look, at here's why I'm here. I want you to work for me. Oh, gee, well, what kind of a restaurant do you have? I haven't got a restaurant. Two fly lights. Well, two fly lights. Here's what I want. Out of the way, out of the way. Look, 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 Dennis. I, I, I haven't got a restaurant. Out of the way, out of the way. Look, kid, yeah. look, I have, I have a radio program, and I want you to sing for me. I want you to be a singer on my show. Gee, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You made a record, you spoke to an agent. I thought you wanted to be in show business. Well, that was before I was doing so good here. <laughs> doing so good? I've had three promotions already. And you've built up to this? <laughs> yeah. You know, when I first came here, they had me testing the oil that they fried the shrimp in. Ooh, my elbow. <laughs> that was a wonderful job. And, and then they promoted me to chicken picker. You mean chicken plucker? No, chicken picky. You see, all the chow mein that came back into the kitchen, I picked out the good pieces of chicken. <laughs> hey, boy! Look, Look, I'm a three egg loaf! I think it's much better. Three egg loaf! Oh, here, you want to come on my way? Hey, this is no job for you. At least, at least you can sing. And now you're out of bed. Out of bed. Out of bed. Server, and this, if this works out, you know what they're gonna do? What? They're gonna make me third assistant fortune cookie stuffer. No! <laughs> <laughs> Who's my chip? Dennis, please. All, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way. If you will say, all the way, all the way, all the way. Now look, look, Dennis. Yeah. I 
know that you, you hate to leave a Shangri-La like this. <laughs> but if you come on my show, remember, I got a radio show goes from coast to coast. You'll be a big star, and you know something? Yeah. I will give you $25 a week. $25? Gee, that's not good. Wait a minute. He pay you 25, I pay you 30. You very valuable man here. Oh, yeah, well, I'll pay you $31. I pay you 32. Hey, hey, no, hey, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Gee, I only guessed at her. <laughs> Look, I'll pay you $35 a week, and that's final. Well, what kind of a guarantee will you give me? I can't give you a guarantee, Dennis. I, I haven't watched your work. I've see, see, I heard you sing or anything, well, except on a record. I hate to quit here before I get a guarantee. Well, look at Step over here and sing something for me. Just let me see what you're looking when you're singing. Yeah. I'll sing something nice, and then maybe you, I can give you a... What would you like to hear? Well, some, what's a good song? What do you know? How about a nice Irish ballad, Galway Bay? Wonderful. Go ahead. That'll be beautiful. If you ever go across the seas to Ireland, then maybe at the closing beautiful. of That's your beautiful. day, give me some moment and watch Look the moon rise. <laughs> This is what I wore 20 years ago. I never throw anything away. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the show, and that's exactly how I found Dennis Day. Dennis, come on. Well, Dennis, you've been with me now for over 20 years. Now, I want to tell you, look, a lot of people think that I'm cheap and stingy because that's a character I portray, you know. But tell the audience, how much, after 20 years, how much am I paying you now? Well... Now, go ahead, tell them. $3,000 a week. There you are, $3,000 a week. Now, that wasn't hard to say, was it? No. Well, look at Dennis, I remember some time ago, <laughs> I uh, asked you to say the same thing